Who was that cow? <laughs> the fair face of a hundred TV shows and the voice of a thousand TV ads, Kate Robbins. <laughs> Two. I'll have the double. Very European. Well, a woman of a thousand voices. Oh, yes. And a sort of stand-up chameleon, really. Who is that cow? <laughs> Who is that cow? It's me. Well, what a cow. Yes, it is. You're, you're, the, you're the sweetheart of, uh, of, the, of the dairy. I and, am, yes. And you, <laughs> all those voices you do. I always I never have asked you, although I've had plenty of chance to do so. Yes. Do you do foreign languages, foreign commercials? Um, oh, not too many. Uh, not too many. I, I did once have to do... Um, a Pepsodent commercial in Indonesian, and I had an Indonesian woman sitting next to me all the way through the commercial, um, and I had to say, um, "Kini de mana mana, kini de mana mana, Pepsodent mombre Indonesia," which uh, it's quite impressive, isn't it? You don't know what it means, that it is. Yeah. <laughs> it means uh, Pepsodent is putting a smile on the face of Indonesia, but I had to keep doing retakes because I kept saying um, Pepsodent mimbre, which apparently means something completely different. What? It means Pepsodent's putting a smile on the bum of Indonesia. <laughs> so, uh, you've got to be careful with yeah. your, your pronunciations, you see. Yes. At one stage, a lot of American ads were coming here because they didn't want to remake them for the British. And still are. Still quite a lot made. Have you done one? Yes, I, I, I revoice quite a lot of American stuff, and I'm quite good at it now, and uh, it is quite hard to do. Mm. Um, it takes, you know, quite a bit of sort of looking at all the time codes underneath. But when... Do you remember the Odor Eater adverts? Odor Eaters. Those? Yeah, Odor oh. Eaters. Well, they were... They were really weird adverts because um, they were voiced by me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I remember doing one quite badly. And so you saw this woman saying, um, and her voice was out of sync with me. And so it went out sort of, uh oh, <laughs> he's not wearing his older readers. <laughs> and her mouth was still moving, you know, because I hadn't quite got the knack. So you've got to, you've got to be careful when you're dubbing things. Yes. yes, of course you have, particularly if it's foreign language. Uh, or, for example, if you want to use a famous voice, somebody else's, you know, do uh, an impersonation. Well, that's that. a problem because you're not you're not actually allowed to you, to do impressions, um, you know, uh, for commercials. Oh, I suppose not because the the original person wants to get the money to do it if the, if the job's going. Well, it's not that. It's just that I'm not allowed to be um, Victoria Wood in a commercial. I mean, she can be herself. I, I can't do her. I've never seen a... her do a commercial. How would yeah, she sound? She, well, no, she does. She does because she did a, a campaign for coffee and uh, oh yes, you're right. Soap and uh, I, I just I don't think her voice would. Go well on something like Heineken, refreshes the fight till the base can't reach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't quite have that ring. Have, have they ever asked you or coerced you into doing oh, a, yes. a famous voice? Well, I often get asked to do Scylla Black on commercials and I'm not allowed to do it. Honest Scylla. And um, <laughs> I remember uh, there was a florist uh, company that wanted me to do it and they wanted me to advertise their beautiful bouquets, their beautiful wreaths, their beautiful laurels. And of course, what was the, the tagline they wanted me to say? We got a Laura Laurels. <laughs> <laughs> but I never did it. There are people who might say that while actors and actresses come off stage with a great deal of fulfilment, that it doesn't take very much artistic integrity to just go and make money doing commercials. But how, how can you say that to me? What? How can you say that to me when you were prepared to take money for this? What? Cue the commercial. Loved by all the stars Life is really marvellous With marvellous Mars Good morning, sir Why, it's Mr Monkhouse Oh, you can call me Bob Or even better, you can call me after six o'clock You know what I'm here after, don't you? I know, Mr Monkhouse Yeah, you're right I'm after your marvellous Mars bars Two, please Mars and Mars, aren't they, Mr Monkhouse? Marvellous? They're marvellous with a capital mmm. Yes, stars love Mars. And they all of them agree. Mars is marvellous, just fly one and see. Don't forget, a Mars in the mouth is worth two in the shop. Green is possible, multi Mars and Mars. Pop, possible, paradise. Mars and Mars. Full cream milk pop. Marvellous. M. M. Yes, all right, I am, I am well answered. Yes. Uh, these days, I only eat a third of a Mars bar to help me rest. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Robbins. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> Kate uh...